Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do another Wild Eye review for you. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a review for Mrs. Claus. Now, I definitely wanted to get this one up before Christmas. Um, before I do the review, I would like to take the time to thank Wild Eye for providing me with this copy to do the review for you guys. Uh, they have a great company, and you know they're just outstanding to work with. And they have an incredible roster of films. So definitely go check them out. I'll be leaving the links for their YouTube channel and their official website. So definitely go check them out. Awesome, awesome company. Now, Mrs. Claus is a 2018 film which runs approximately 86 minutes and is written and directed by Troy Escamilla. Now, in doing some research with with Troy, I found out that he also did another movie which is in my box, which is Party Night. So I can't wait to watch that one and do a review as well. Um, this was quite an interesting film. Let's get to the stars first. This stars Brink Stevens as Julie Cornell. Now, of course, Brink Stevens was in Death House. The Ouija Possession, which is also known as Jonah Lives, which I've also done a review for for Wild Eye. And Hot Tub Party Massacre, among others. She's a scream queen. Uh, been around quite some time. So, This also stars Helene Udi as Mrs. Werner. Now, she was in My Bloody Valentine, the original. She played Sylvia. She was in The Incubus. And she was in The Dead Zone. So she has a bit behind her as well. I knew I recognized her when I watched this film. Now we're going to get into a brief synopsis of the film. Basically, in the very beginning, a girl is uh, pledging to her sorority. And they have her do some pretty nasty hazing. Uh, stunts. So, a few months later, it's Christmas time, and they're gathered around the Christmas tree, and some of the girls are still on this girl and kind of making her life miserable. They decide to give her one of the things she used as a hazing stunt for Christmas. The girl is then humiliated. She goes and kills the, the main girl in the sorority, and hangs herself. Now, a few years later, we're met up with her sister, who is pledging the same sorority, kind of to honor her sister, the one that was killed. And the girls start to get picked off from there. Um, let's get into what I liked and what I didn't like. Uh, what I liked about this film was I didn't think the actors were that bad for this type of film. Um, usually the acting is atrocious, but it wasn't actually that bad. And the kills were really cool in this film. I really enjoyed the kills. Now what I didn't like. Um, it didn't ruin the film for me, but it did take it down a couple notches. And that was the reveal at the end. Um, it went a little too overboard, and I'm not going to get into that, of course, as far as spoilers go, because I don't want to ruin the movie for anyone, but it just was a little too much. It actually kind of reminded me of the twist ending for Secret Santa, another one of Wild Eyes movies, um, where it was just kind of a little over the top at the end, but... You know, that's that's just my opinion, of course, and, you know, what I took away from the film. Now, of course, the bonus features on, on this one are the director's commentary and the trailers. Um, I actually like this film. I thought it was pretty good. Um, the kills, I think, saved it. Um, there was a few plot holes that my wife actually watched this with me that she pointed out, but nothing that couldn't be overcome. I mean, when you have slashers, whether they're low budget or high budget, you're going to have plot holes. It kind of doesn't matter. If you dig deep enough, you'll find them. 
but um, I actually really enjoyed this. Um, this is going to be a recommendation from me. I'm going to give this film a 7. I think it was at an 8 basically before the end, but, you know, this is, this is a solid 7. It is a decent, uh, low-budget slasher, and definitely one to check out. So, have you seen Mrs. Claus? If so, comment below and let me know. And definitely check out Wild Eye, because they have a great roster of films. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, Merry Christmas and peace.